I applied to be a prototype slash front end developer, but my work was mostly going to be with design team. So sort of what ended up happening was I was a prototype developer for a while and then naturally I just kind of moved over to be UI UX. And then, yeah, that's kind of like the path that I ended up taking. Very different from mine, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, because I came in, we were talking about this earlier, I came in as an account manager. Well, I didn't come into Code as an account manager. My previous role was an account manager that developed into part account manager, part front end developer. Uh, and then when I was looking for a new role, decided that that was the bit I wanted to focus on. So I applied for the job as front end developer and then progressed in front end from there. Nice. I think, so I took IT from like GCSE onwards and then I did IT in college. And then when I went to university, I did web design and development. So I've kind of followed a really structured path of like, I knew pretty much from like 15, 16 that I wanted to do something with web. So I've kind of taken a really structured like educational path. Whereas I know like, I don't think you Yeah, mine's do. completely different. Yeah, so I, I trained in marketing <laughs> and went into marketing, but as part of my role in marketing, <laughs> I found that the bit that really interested me was the digital marketing yeah. side of it and started getting involved in coding email campaigns and that kind of thing and that's what interested me and then just used my time outside of work to look on the internet find resources tutorials videos yeah and build up my learning from that yeah I kind of did the same with design because I went straight into development I've always been interested in design but I really liked that part of it like the especially being a front end like I was, you get to kind of figure out the, the look and feel of it. And I always knew that I wanted to have more of a design role than a dev role, especially by like the end of my first job. So it was kind of like a really nice, nice way in. Yeah, progression. Yeah. yeah. I think it's probably perception of what the tech industry is. Like, you know, there's like tech bros. <laughs> like, you know, there's like a very specific stereotype of what people in tech are. And I don't think it's always until you're actually in real world companies that you realize that those stereotypes are like non-existent. Yeah, that's com it's completely yeah. wrong. Yeah, those stereotypes, I don't know where they've come from. No. Yeah, because it's not like that at all.